Hello and welcome back to Math and Maticians. This year's winners of the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics were just announced, so let's talk about the three legends who won. John Clark, Michael H. Deverett and John M. Martinis. A journey that began in Cambridge, then to Paris, finally off to California and beyond. Entirely focused on cracking open the mysteries of the quantum world, John Clark, born in Cambridge, England, was a quantum pioneer from the start. He invented the slug, a voltmeter so sensitive it could detect the faintest whispers of electricity. Clark's leadership at the University of California, Berkeley, turned his lab into a powerhouse for superconducting research. That's where he met Deveret and Martinis. Michel Deveret from Paris brought a creative interdisciplinary spark he joined Clark in Berkeley, then led quantum research in France before heading to Yale and, more recently, with Google Quantum AI. Devery helped invent the Transmon qubit, a major breakthrough that made quantum computers more stable and reliable. And then there's John Martinis, who started as Clark's student, then went on to lead Google's quantum team. In 2019, his group achieved quantum supremacy, building a quantum computer that solved a problem faster than any classical machine could dream of. Back in the 1980s, these three built a superconducting circuit, a tiny sandwich of materials where quantum effects could be seen with the naked eye. They proved that quantum tunneling and energy quantization weren't just for atoms, but could happen in something much bigger. That discovery laid the foundation for quantum computing as we know it. Their work bridges the strange, microscopic world of quantum mechanics with the everyday world we live in. Thanks to them, the technology in your pocket and the future of computing itself is being transformed. As Clark said, I could not imagine accepting the prize without the two of them collaboration, curiosity and a dash of British and French brilliance. That is what changed the world. So, next time you hear about quantum computers, remember that Clark, Deveret, and Martinis are leading the charge to make it all possible. The quantum revolution is just getting started, so please stay tuned to find out what's next. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay calculating, my friends.